take my glasses off so I can actually see. So good morning, everyone. It is my pleasure to stand here before all of you this morning for the opening of the fall semester. As Sheila said, my name is Carolyn Knopfler, and I'm the Dean of STEM here at the college. I want to start by asking, and students here today, please pay attention to this. Who in this audience today is a first-generation college student? If you are, please stand. Thank you. So today I stand before you to share a story of transformation and empowerment, a narrative that speaks not only to my personal journey as a first generation college student, but also to the profound evolution of community colleges. These institutions, once seen as a stepping stone, have now become catalysts for life altering change. The evolution of community colleges has redefined its narrative, making education accessible to all, regardless of socioeconomic status or background. As I reflect on my own path, I can't help but be amazed by the impact my college experience has had on my life. Both of my parents lived through the Depression, and my father served in the Army Air Corps during World War II, where he learned to be an aircraft mechanic. Even though he could have gone to college on the GI Bill, he needed to work. He worked as an aircraft mechanic for many years, first in Washington, DC, and then at Logan Airport after my parents got married. Like many today, after a layoff, my parents were panicked because they had a mortgage and they had a child. That'd be me. <laughs> well, out on a ride one day, they saw a sign that Polaroid on Route 128 in Waltham was hiring. And that's where my father remained until he retired at age 65. He always felt that he missed out on education, so he was determined that I would receive what he did not. Every week when my parents dispersed my father's paycheck into various piles to pay their bills and their mortgage, they would set aside $5 for my education. Keep in mind, this was the 1960s and 1970s. <laughs> When I was a junior in high school, of course, that's when you began the college selection process. I had no clue what I was doing, and the guidance office at my high school was little help. I applied to random schools, including Harvard, where their tuition and room and board was $7,800 per year, a far reach for my family. I wanted to go to medical school to become a pediatrician, but was told that's too difficult for girls. So I sadly listened to my teachers and decided I would pursue a degree in psychology. I decided to go to UMass Boston, not because of the psychology department, not because of its location, not because of the cost, which was $600 per year. No, I selected UMass Boston because that's where my high school boyfriend went. <laughs> At the age of 17, I stepped onto this urban commuter campus, and a whole new world opened up for me and changed me profoundly. I was 10 years younger than the average student. I was a kid from the suburbs who, for the first time, met people from all walks of life from around the world. UMass Boston had a vibrant ecosystem that fostered growth and innovation. It adapted to its diverse student body by offering a wide range of programs from traditional academic tracks to a place where you could earn college credit for life experiences. This transformation opened doors to various career paths, but has also created opportunities for students like me to explore their passions and find our true callings. As a first-generation college student, stepping onto a college campus like UMass Boston was a mix of both excitement and trepidation. The faculty were instrumental in smoothing my transition. The shift in focus from a mere academic setting to a holistic learning environment uh, has been pivotal in shaping my own academic journey. I discovered that I was not alone in my aspirations and there was an entire community rooting for my success. My personal experience echoes the broader transformation, namely that of community colleges. 
These institutions, like Northern Essex Community College, are no longer just about imparting knowledge, they're about fostering a sense of belonging. They've evolved into places where diverse voices are celebrated and where each student's story adds to the richness of the tapestry that's education. For me, college was a turning point that brought about a paradigm shift. It provided me with the tools and resources to cultivate not just academic excellence, but also self-confidence and a sense of purpose. It was in the classrooms of my college that I found mentors who believed in me, professors who challenged me, and peers who inspired me. This network of support propelled me to reach heights that I never thought possible. The financial burden of higher education is one of the greatest barriers many students face. By making education financially accessible with programs like Mass Reconnect, community colleges have become agents of change, empowering individuals from all walks of life to break the cycle of limited opportunities and to pursue their dreams. In conclusion, the transformation of community colleges mirrors the transformative power they hold for students like me. As a first-generation college student, my journey is a testament to the evolution of these institutions from their humble beginnings to their current status as centers of empowerment and change. The opportunities they offer, the support that they provide, and the doors that they open are not just about education. They are about transformation, growth, and the realization of potential. My story is just one of countless stories that speak to the impact of the college experience on individuals, families, and communities. Students who are with us today, I am asking that you take a moment this semester and ask one of your professors about their journey. You may be surprised that their story is not different from yours. To my colleagues who are here today, thank you for changing the lives of all of us. As we celebrate the beginning of the fall semester, let us also look forward to the continued evolution of these institutions, ensuring that they remain beacons of hope and catalysts for transformation for generations to come. Thank you.